Hi everybody, I'm Chris Wook from Android Authority. Released just under two weeks ago, the Pantec Discover is the company's latest mid-range Android-powered phone. How does it hold up? Find out in our review. Now, Android phones have come a long way in a very short amount of time. We're at a point where even phones running pretty modest hardware can provide a great experience. And while Pantech may be known as a maker of budget phones, the hardware in the Pantech Discover isn't actually all that modest, so let's get started by taking a look at the specs. The Pantech Discover runs a Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 Plus chipset with a 1.5 GHz dual-core processor, has 1 GB of RAM, and 16 gigs of storage, which is expandable via microSD. The screen is 4.8 inches and 720p HD with a resolution of 1280 by 720. The front and rear cameras are 12.6 megapixels and 2 megapixels respectively, with the rear camera capable of capturing 1080p video. Finally, the battery has a capacity of 2200 milliamp hours. For a fairly inexpensive mid-range phone, the Pantech Discover has a nice solid feel while remaining light at 4.76 ounces or 135 grams. The design flows nicely with a bump on the back housing both the rear camera lens and the dual 3D surround sound speakers. The shape is a major plus and combined with the textured back, this is one of the most comfortable phones I've held in a while. Hardware buttons are minimal, with just the power button on top and the volume rocker on the left side. Everything else is handled via on-screen buttons. The 4.8-inch 720p display may not be the best display we've ever seen, but it's far from the worst, especially considering the price point of the Discover. Video looks nice, colors are vivid, and rendering of text and icons is sharp, matching or exceeding the displays we've seen on pricier phones. With the specs being so similar to the LG Spectrum 2 we reviewed recently, I had a fairly good idea what to expect performance-wise, and the Pantech Discover met my expectations. It isn't going to blow any high-end phones out of the water, but in day-to-day -day use, the Discover is going to be up to most challenges you throw at it, especially apps which rely most heavily on the CPU, and that does account for the vast majority of apps available. The Pantech Discover runs a skinned version of Android 4.0 Ice Cream Sandwich. We've heard that an update to Jelly Bean is on the way, but we're not sure whether it'll be 4.1 or if Pantech will skip directly to 4.2. The usual suite of Google Apps is included, as are some preloaded AT&T apps, which, as usual, can't be removed. But generally, there seem to be less bloatware than we've seen on other recent devices. One major plus, for me at least, is that SwiftKey is included out of the box, which I prefer greatly to any other keyboard. The Pantech Discover's camera may be a bit bare bones compared to those found on other phones, but I found it to be quite usable, with decent focus and low light performance. HDR and panoramic modes are included, and options like exposure, white balance, and focus mode can be adjusted. The 1080p video capture was decent as well, with fairly accurate color representation and a steady frame rate of 30 frames per second. Battery life on the Pantech Discover is pretty much what you might expect from a device with a 2200 milliamp hour battery. Pantech claims roughly 10 hours of talk time, and those numbers usually match up with what I think of as moderate use time. Video and games are obviously going to drain the battery faster, but in normal use, the Discover should easily last through a day without charging, though you'll want to bring a charger on weekend trips. And there you have it. In the end, the Pantech Discover is a solid, stylish phone that isn't going to break the bank. If you'd like to know more about the Pantech Discover, check out the full review in textual format at androidauthority.com. And if you want to make sure you don't miss anything, make sure to subscribe to our channel. I'm Chris Wook from Android Authority, and thanks for watching. <laughs>